What colors are permissible and recommended for women to wear outside the home? The general rule, the general rule is that there isn't a specific color that's mandatory for a Muslim woman to wear out of the home. The general rule is that there is not a specific color that a Muslim woman is bound to wear when she leaves her home. Secondly, the general rule, according to some of the people of knowledge, is that there is no one color which is preferable. There is no one preferable color. Some of the people of knowledge, they may say it's black. Well, as it's mentioned in certain narrations, when the ayat, the verses of the hijab were sent down, as if some of the sahabiyat, as if some of them resembled crows, and crows come in the color of black. Crows are black, or predominantly black, mostly black. So therefore, uh, the general rule is that there is no color which is mandatory. The general rule, step number two, is that there is no necessarily, or there isn't, on, there isn't necessarily a recommended color. Some of the people of knowledge may say black as preference and not obligation. What is important is that the clothing of the Muslim woman be something that is respectable, is honorable, it's a means of piety. It's a means of modesty. It isn't a means of drawing the attention of people. It isn't a means of inciting and stirring up the desires of men. It isn't something which is tight, perfumed, sheer, see-through, transparent. It isn't something that resembles the clothing of men. Some of the fuqaha say, some of them say, that a woman should not wear white. She should not wear white, especially outside of the home as her hijab, whereas white is the preferable color for men to wear, as Jabir ibn Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhuma and others have narrated in the Sunan of Imam Abi Dawood, the Jami of Imam Tirmidhi, in which the Messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam says, Inna min khayri thiyabikum lahadha libayad. He says, wear white clothes where they are the best, they are the best of clothes for you to wear. When you're living, dress in white. And he says, wa kafinu fiha, fiha motakum. He says, and shroud your dead in white clothes. So some of the people of knowledge, they say, that a man's preferred color is white, and a woman should not wear a white hijab outside of the home. Other scholars, they say it's nothing wrong with wearing white even outside of the home, as long as it's in the style, fashion, and the form of a woman's garb, of a woman's garment. So therefore, there is no specific color that a woman must wear. Obviously, there are many people in America, in the UK, in Australia, in Canada, well, alhamdulillah, certain brothers and sisters that have learned certain things, that have traveled overseas, that have benefited certain things, and they came back to America, they went back to Canada, they went to Australia, and they spread among the people that black is mandatory, whether they said it verbally or whether they said it with their actions. Some of them may have said that black is wajib. A Muslim woman who's on the sunnah, who's following the way of Ahl sunnah, following the way of the pious predecessors, she must wear black. And then there's some of them who didn't say it with those words, but they proved it with their actions. A sister comes to the masjid and she has in a navy blue overgarment, they look down upon her. She comes with a dark brown overgarment, they look down upon her. They say bad things to her or they treat her in a certain way. They hold her in contempt. Black is not mandatory at all. And there's a discussion, a very long discussion with regards to is it even preferable for a woman to wear black, especially in the hot weather. That's a very long discussion in itself. What's important is that there is no one color that a woman must wear. As long as the clothing of a woman, it is not tight. It's not transparent. It's not an infatuation, a means of infatuation. She can wear any color that she wishes to wear. Wallahu ta'ala alam.